Question 1. When two vehicles arrive at an intersection without traffic signals, who has the right of way? A. The vehicle on the left. B. The vehicle that arrived first. C. The vehicle on the right. Answer. C. The vehicle on the right. At an uncontrolled intersection, the vehicle on the right generally has the right of way. Question 2. If you are driving behind a school bus and it shows a flashing red light, you should A. Pass the bus quickly B. Continue driving at the same speed C. Stop and wait until the red lights stop flashing Answer C. Stop and wait until the red lights stop flashing New Jersey law requires vehicles to stop for school buses with flashing red lights. Question 3. True or false? In New Jersey, it is legal to turn right on a red light after coming to a full stop and ensuring the way is clear. Answer. True. However, you should always obey posted signs that might prohibit such turns. Question 4. The best way to communicate with other drivers on the road is through. A using your horn, B, flashing your headlights, C, using signals and brake lights. Answer, C, using signals and brake lights. Proper signaling informs other drivers of your intentions. Question 5, what does a sign with a yellow triangle and an exclamation mark inside it indicate? A, yield ahead, B, general warning or caution, C, no passing zone. Answer. B. General warning or caution. This sign warns drivers of potential hazards or changes in road conditions ahead. Question 6. True or false. You are allowed to use a handheld device while driving if you are checking your GPS directions. Answer. False. The use of handheld devices while driving is prohibited regardless of purpose. Question 7. A double yellow line in the center of a road indicates A. You may pass if the way is clear. B. Passing is allowed from both directions. C. Passing is prohibited from both directions. Answer. C. Passing is prohibited from both directions. Double yellow lines mean no passing for vehicles in either direction. Question 8. At a T intersection without signs or signals, the vehicle on the terminating road must blank to vehicles on the continuing road. A. Yield. B. Speed up. C. Turn right. Answer. A. Yield. At a T intersection, the vehicle on the terminating road must yield to vehicles on the through road. Question 9. When can you drive in a bicycle lane? A. When you are preparing for a turn. B. Whenever you want. C. When you are passing another vehicle. Answer. A. When you are preparing for a turn, you can enter a bicycle lane for no more than 200 feet before making a turn. Question 10. True or false. High beams should be used in fog, snow, or heavy rain to improve visibility. Answer. False. High beams can reflect off these conditions and decrease visibility. Low beams are recommended. Question 11. What does a sign displaying an arrow curving to the left with a straight arrow to its right indicate? A. Left turn only. B. Right turn only. C. Left turn or straight ahead. Answer. C. Left turn or straight ahead. This sign indicates permitted directions of travel at an intersection. Question 12. In New Jersey, what is the safe following distance under normal road conditions? A. 1 second. B. 3 seconds. C. 5 seconds. Answer. B. 3 seconds. This allows enough time to react to potential hazards. Question 13. If you are involved in a minor crash and no one is injured, you should. A. Leave your vehicle where it is and wait for the police. B. Move your vehicle out of traffic, if possible. C. Abandon the vehicle and find a safer place. Answer. B. Move your vehicle out of traffic. If possible, it's safer for everyone if vehicles involved in minor crashes are moved out of the flow of traffic. Question 14. True or false. 
When driving around a curve, you should maintain your vehicle's center of gravity by accelerating. Answer. False. It's best to reduce speed before entering a curve and accelerate gradually as you exit. Question 15. What does a yellow sign with a black cross symbolize? A. Hospital ahead. B. School zone. C. Railroad crossing. Answer. C. Railroad crossing. This sign warns drivers that there's a railway intersection ahead. Question 16. In New Jersey, a GDL, graduated driver license, holder is not permitted to use which of the following while driving? A. Radio. B. Hands-free cell phone. C. Air conditioning. Answer. B. Hands-free cell phone. GDL holders are prohibited from using any interactive wireless communication device. Question 17. True or false? If your vehicle starts to skid, you should turn the steering wheel in the opposite direction of the skid. Answer. False. If your vehicle starts to skid, turn the steering wheel in the direction you want the front of the vehicle to go. Question 18. What is the penalty for not stopping for a pedestrian in a crosswalk? A. Up to $200 fine, community service and insurance surcharges. B. $50 fine. C. Warning for the first offense. Answer. A. Up to $200 fine, community service and insurance surcharges. Question 19. A rectangular orange sign indicates. A. Construction or maintenance zone. B. No passing zone. C. School zone. Answer. A. Construction or maintenance zone. Orange signs typically warn drivers of construction or work zones. Question 20. True or false. Motorists are required to stop for blind pedestrians carrying a white or metallic walking stick or using a guide dog. Answer. True. Drivers must always yield to blind pedestrians.